Hello enemies and book lovers, my name is Ashley but you can call me Ash and this is going to be my bookshelf tour. I have two bookshelves, this one and another one in my bedroom. So I will be showing you this one first and then the other one later. I'm also going to be going through all the books and flipping over the ones I have not read but only temporarily just to kind of show you what books I haven't read. So without further ado, let's start. So this is my main bookshelf. This is the one I usually film in front of. There are five shelves. I'll go through this one first because this is the Rick Riordan shelf. I've already read all of these books, so I will not be going through this later, but we have a little Nico D'Angelo sticker. I have my little lamp and we have a Percy and Annabeth artwork and these two books. I have not read these, so technically I should flip them but they're big and they're heavy and you know what, I'm just gonna keep them for now because it's the only ones on this shelf, so it's a little boring. So this one, it's probably one of the most prettiest shelves I have, but nothing to really add. I've read all these books. So the first shelf, as you can see, is the Sarah J Mass shelf. There's a little bit of books that are not Sarah J Mass. We have Brendan Sanderson, The Atlas Six, and Lore. So, of these books, <laughs> um, I have not read A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is a crime because it's my favorite series. I've just not wanted to continue it because I'm just scared to continue it. I don't know. I really want to get into it this year though. So I have not read this, I have not read Frost and Starlight, and I have not read Silver Flame, so... Next, this is a sticker I made right here. These are two pins, one from Throne of Glass and one from A Court of Thousand Roses, and this is a little flower from Akatar that my boyfriend made me for Valentine's Day. It is super duper sweet. So for these, for Throne of Glass, I have read almost all of Throne of Glass, but not all of it. No surprise there. I have not read Tower of Dawn or Kingdom of Ash yet. I've also not even started at Crescent City. I have not read these books. I want to finish her other series before I start reading Crescent City. So, um... Another four books that I have not read. I have read The Year of Ages, but I have to read The Well of Ascension. I'm hoping to read The Well of Ascension in June and kind of buddy read it with my boyfriend because we read the first two books together. This is the Fairy Loot Adult Atlas 6 edition. I have not read, of course, I just got it. And to match with that, we have Lore. I have not read that either. So, I have a bunch to flip now. So on this shelf, these are the books I have not read. There are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. A shame. I'm ashamed of myself. I really want to get to the rest of the Akatar series, and I really, really want to finish this one of Glass series. Like I said, I want to get to Crescent City. I don't know if I'll get to it this year. I just want to finish the other Saturday Mass books first, but we will see. I'd also like to get to Atlas Six because I want to finish my subscription books. So this is the first shelf my second shelf I have a lot of books that I haven't read so this is gonna be fun I already have read all of these though these are Rick Riordan books and these are two uh, special editions I think they are these are these special numbered editions so and these is the House of Hades but it has the artwork of the book on the side and they are gorgeous I'm gonna put them back and we're not gonna we're not gonna go near this area I already read all of these books thankfully and here we have a little alice in wonderland sticker and these little figures that i have had since i was younger and then this was made out of resin my mom made it for me this is a howl's moving castle sticker and we have my bts galaxy headphone another gift from my mom and yoongi is my bias so um <laughs> just ignore this these are the exclusive collector's editions i have read the first book I was going to read the rest of them with my boyfriend, so I was like, oh, I'll wait to read them with him. Well, we didn't read them, so um, I'm pretty much going to be rereading the first book because I don't remember very much of what happened, so I'm going to be rereading these. So technically, I might just turn this around because I have to reread it, which is just great for me, so that's that. Next is a book I got from Owl Crate years ago, and thankfully I have read Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston, and I have also read Soul of Stars. I actually enjoyed these books. They were a huge surprise when I read them. I wasn't expecting to like them, but I definitely did, and I am very happy that I uh, 
pot them. Uh, I painted the edges of this myself, and this was already painted by Elkrit, so I just decided to make them match. The reason why I don't read my physical TBR that often is because I usually rely on my library books. My physical TBR, I always think like, oh, I'll get to them eventually when I don't have a library nearby. Well, I have a library nearby all the time, so okay, I don't really get to them. Winterwood, this was also a book box edition, and I have not started this either. Bright in the Pale, also have not started this. This is another book box book. Have not read. Speaking of book box books, we have House of Salt and Sorrows. This I also have not read yet, and I have painted the edges myself for this. And for this Golden Flame, I have also not read this either. Next, the Lore and Last by Carla Nicole. I've talked about this book on my May TBR, and I have read this, thankfully. Obviously, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And I have not started this, unfortunately. So there's another one to turn around. <laughs> God, oh god. I, I dropped it. I dropped my book. I got this book and a few other books by Indigenous authors by goodminds.com. If you are in the GTA or the Toronto area, anywhere near it, they will send it to you. And Or you can go and visit them yourself. I made also a reel on my Instagram if you want to check them out. And I will link it down below in the description. Along with the Only Good Indians, I also got 21 Things You Might Not Know About the Indian Act, also from goodminds.com. I have gotten through a little bit of this. I need to continue it and finish it. I have to finish this, so I'm not read yet. This Born by Brandon Sanderson. I have read the first book, and I've also read the second book. These are my paperback editions um, that I was reading while my boyfriend had the hardcover books, so I already read these two, thankfully. Okay, this is not looking good for me. There is only like two books from this area right here that I have read. Poppy War is not one of them. Uh, the Poppy War I have not read. I want to get to, but I'm trying not to start new series right now, so I'm not getting to it right now. So this is going to be turned around. I'm trying to get into adult fantasy, so I got this on discount, and I'm really excited to try it. From Blood and Ash, everyone's heard of this series, I'm sure. It's romantic fantasy. I am super pumped. I have not read these either. I have not even read the first book, but I really want to. I like to read series that are completed because I hate having to wait like a year or more for the book to come out. I talked about this in my booktube newbie tag. I have definitely have read this. I've read it at least three times, but I'm hoping to reread it this year. But thankfully, no turning this one around. This one is good. Next is A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. I have read this book. I read this a long time ago, actually. I am currently learning ASL, which is another word for American Sign Language. So I really wanted to read a book that incorporated sign language. This book is actually really, really sweet. I don't really hear anyone talking about it, unfortunately, but it's essentially about a girl who is selective mute. She has really, really bad social anxiety. I actually related to her quite a bit. And then we have a boy who speaks BSL, I think, uh, which is British Sign Language. I want to reread it, and I'm wondering if I'll like it as much as I did the first time. So this I have thankfully read. Next is Big Little Lies. I got this from my thrift store, and I just thought, well, I'll get it. Well, not really sure why, but I think I still will read it. Did not read it, obviously, but I also do not want to turn this book around because I tried making it like the like the lollipop and, um, oh god, it's horrible. You know, I guess it could be worse. Oh, no, no, I think it's pretty bad. You know what? I'm sp I have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I'll accept it. So this is the shelf with everything turned around. Three, seven, nine, twelve. There, oh. 13. We have 13 books on this shelf. So, so far, this is the uh, what we're looking at. Like I already said earlier, this shelf, I have read everything, so we don't need to go through that. So this is my Folk of the Air print. This is of Jude. And then we have my Tata and Koya figures. <laughs> so I will move these out of the way so we can get to the books. First book we have is Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. I haven't started the series. This was on a very, very good discount. It was very cheap, so I got it. I haven't even started the series, so <laughs> I definitely have not started this book. I have not even started the series, but I wanted this because it was incredibly cheap. So um, now it's biting me in the butt because uh, now I have to turn it around. Next, we have We Have the Flame, and we also have We Free the Stars. Also haven't started this. Uh, I bought this because it was cheap as well and on book outlets, so I just decided to get it. Not sure if I'll even like these books, but 
The author sounds really, really cool. The fact that it says that she plays Assassin's Creed and Skyrim, and honestly, I instantly was like, I like her as a person, so I'll get her books. <laughs> so that's what I did, and I'm not mad about it, regardless if I like the books or not. She seems like a really cool person, so I don't mind. There we go. Next we have Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. I also have not read this book. I got it also on the same place I got the other uh, the other two books. So uh, yeah, I've got this. Marie Lu is one of my favorite authors, so I was just like, let's buy it. It's the only book I have from her. All right, there we go. A series I've actually completed. This is the Folk of the Air trilogy and the side book for the King of Elfheim, or the Hate Stories. All of these books are the Owl Crate editions. Um, but yeah, I have completed all of them and every single one of them is signed and I'm just... This is probably my pride and joy when it comes to my collection. Barkeeper's Daughter. I have not read this either, but I have heard great things about it. I was going to get to it, but I wasn't in the headspace. This was also from Good Minds. I got a bunch of indigenous books from there and like I said, I will link Good Minds below. Next is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. This trilogy was- I have an interesting horror- oh, sorry about this trilogy. So this trilogy I actually saw on the shelf of my library. This was years ago and I saw it and I instantly was like, okay, this is a sci-fi. I want to get more into sci-fi. Did not know anything about it, but honestly, I really, really liked it. And there's a human android type of romance. I, at the time, loved this book. Honestly, loved it. These were also on discounted on uh, a book outlet. That's why I got them. So we had these two books and then we have Defy the Fates, which I haven't heard great things about the third book, but I got it anyway. So I have read the first two, have not read the third one, and I will reread all of them. And yes, this is a hardcover and these are in paperbacks. I uh, don't care anymore about that. It doesn't bother me as much as it used to. The height differences, um, hardcover and paperback, it used to bother me, but now that I don't have the money to buy books, I don't really care as long as it's cheap. Next is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This was from an Outcrate box years ago, and I have read this. It was okay. I only kept it because, I don't know, I like the cover of it. I think it's really pretty, um, but it wasn't the best read. I think it was a, maybe a three stars. This is the Grisha trilogy. I have read these books. Um, I didn't really like them, and I, and I have painted the edges of all of these. Shadow and Bone. Here is Siege and Storm. And then here is Ruin and Rising. Six of Crows. I just took a risk with it and I actually really enjoyed it. At the time, they weren't as popular, these books, but um, it was popular enough that I was like, hey, let's buy it. And I loved it. So these are the collector's editions right here. And these are signed as well. And they are gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, I have read these. I have read these. Thankfully. Um, I have not read King of Scars, and I also have not, not read Rule of Wolves. So I have not read these gorgeous, gorgeous books, but I want to reread the Grisha trilogy or the Grishaverse before I get into this part of the Grishaverse. This is Lion Cat from Saga. I freaking love this pop figure. It's adorable. And then I have a little Toto Dial and a Pokeball. There are two more books behind this figure, but I will not be showing it because of the author being problematic. So we will skip that for now. So we have 10 books on this shelf that I have not read. This shelf, okay. So this shelf's a little crazy. This is my bookmark bag. I put my bookmarks in here. This is my annotation bag. I put my stickers and tabs in here. This is from a fairy loot box. It's just a roll the dice game. I use it for my, my series to roll for what series to read next or continuing of series. And then there's this. This is Suga from BTS. My sister got it for me as a joke and I just kept it. And so he just watches over my books for me. <laughs> On this shelf we have something that is not a book and this is probably one of my most prized possessions in my entire life. These are my favorite movies of all time. These are the Anne of Green Gables movies. Speaking of Anne of Green Gables, we have the, I think it's Puffing. This is the Puffin in Bloom collection. And it is Anne of Green Gables. I have read this and I have also personalized it. This isn't the only time I've ever actually painted a design on a book, and it came out pretty cute. I actually really like it. I have a really, really pretty photo on my Instagram of this book, and I am in love with it. All right, Kelly Armstrong, <laughs> oh boy. So these books are also something of my past. This book, as you can see, has a bit of water damage on it. This book has been with me since high school. I read this in grade 11 or 12. I read it 
um, while I was on the bus. And then I put it in my backpack and it rained. And I remember that day very well. And ever since then, I always put plastic bags in my backpacks so that I could put my books in there to protect them. This is the second book I have never gotten to, ever. I think this one has witches in it. So I have not read this and I have read Bitten at least twice in my life and I want to reread it. So there we go. This series is really long. So that's why I haven't gotten back into it. And we come to House of Night. These, so marked right here is my least favorite book of all time. I plan on reading this series for fun, making a video about it, but I am terrified because I really did not like Marked at all. It's one of my, I think I have two books ever that I've ever made it to one star, and this is one of them. Here it is, here's the infamous cover, and they're actually pretty gorgeous. I like how it has like the design on the front. My sister got me these books a long, long, long time ago, probably over a decade ago, for Christmas, and I never ever got to them. I read this in grade 12, and then I reread it when I was about 24, and oh my gosh. When I first read it when I was in grade 12, I actually quite enjoyed it. And when I was 24, I hated it. It just did not age well. That's how it works. Out of all of these books, I have only read Marked. I have not read any of the other series in the House of Night books. Next is some of the Rick Riordan Presents books. I actually, these are not mine, these are my boyfriend's, so I won't be getting to it anyway. Thankfully, I don't need to read that, and I have already read, uh, I've already read this book, and I love the Magnus Face trilogy. It's probably one of my favorite trilogies in the Rick Riordan universe. I just read this book about a week ago, and I DNF'd it. I'm very surprised by that, because it definitely seems like it's up my alley, but I just didn't like it. So, uh, I will be putting this... So I will technically say this was red, but I did not really enjoy it, unfortunately. If you're wondering why I didn't like it, it was mostly just the romance. I just didn't feel the chemistry. I just didn't really care for it. I have not read any of these because I am reading chronologically uh, Cassandra Clare books. I'm reading in the order that they were published. So these are coming up. This book is coming up and this book is coming up, but this one's going to take me a while to get to. Next is Jane Eyre. I got this at a thrift store. It is it is the oldest book that I own, technically speaking, when it comes to age of the book. Inside, you get this little World's Best Reading Reader's Digest, which is really cute. And there are illustrations in the book as well. It's only from 1984, so it's not incredibly old. Other than Stephen King, this is probably the oldest book that I own. I also have not read this. Like I said before, I'm not a huge classics person, so I have not read it. I don't know if I'll try to read it, we'll see. Speaking of classics, we have H.P. Lovecraft's Tales of Horror. This is my boyfriend's copy. I do want to read some of his work because I love the game Bloodborne. Another author who is very problematic, but he is dead, so I guess that's all right. I might still read his work, but yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous book, though. So on this shelf, we have 13, if I have counted correctly, and that is, that is not good at all. So this is my bookshelf in its entirety. This is what it looks like. Everything flipped around. I am definitely, um, yeah, it's a lot, but I can, uh, it's okay. It's okay. This is also on the side of my bookshelf. We have Pokemon. We have some video games. This is from Monster Hunter. It's my pin banner that I have on the side. And this is something my mom made me as well. So it's really, really cute. We also have some gaming merchandise on top of my bookshelf. This is from Horizon. The second game, which I haven't started yet. And this is from Bioshock Infinite, which is my boyfriend and I, one of our fair games of all time. And we have a little, a little nug from Dragon Age. So let's move on to my second bookshelf. This is not a bookshelf, but this is on top of my headboard for my bed, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go through these. I'm not going to turn these around because I don't really want to because it's kind of like a display piece as well as a little book area. Here are some more H.P. Lovecraft. These are kind of just smaller, uh, easier to consume editions. This is the box set of the Anne of Green Gables books. I will quickly just show them all to you. So I have not read any of these other than the first book, and then I have not read any of these as well. And here's my little Anubis plushie with my scrunchie on top, and this is a Bast plushie. Over here we have more Cassandra Clare, we have the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments. I am currently in the middle of this series. I am reading the fifth book, so it's not here right now, and then I am planning on reading Clockwork Princess soon. 
and I can't wait to cry once I get to it and finally finish these series. I cannot wait. It's been years. It's been years coming. So this is what is on my headboard in my bedroom. Next, we will do the other bookshelf in my room. We have a lot of plushies on this <laughs> bookshelf, so just be warned. also have some figures I might have to move so that I have more space for my books. Next, these books are actually my boyfriend. So Christopher Paolini, all of these are my boyfriend's books, so I haven't read any of them, but I do plan on reading uh, the Aragon or the Eldest series. I don't know the name of it, it's my boyfriend's book. So I'm hoping after June, so July, August, September, and October, I can read this series. We also have The Arithmetist, and this was in our local used bookstore. We don't know anything about it, but we're still going to try. I'm going to not flip it around because I don't want my boyfriend being confused as to where his books went. The Bone Season. I have also not read this. This was in a thrift store. Uh, like I said, I don't really want to start any new series, so a lot of these books that are in series, or the first book in the series, I have not started, but excited for it. Also, adult fantasy I'm trying to get into, so a lot of these adult fantasy books I have not started yet, but I'm hoping to. This is Kalvi Teroth, who is from Monster Hunter, which is one of my favorite games, uh, so I'll move her over there. We have Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows. These were one of the first books I bought. Uh, because of booktube and this was 2018 so I bought these and I absolutely adored them. I do own the collector's edition so I was considering getting rid of these but I couldn't like they kind of have a special place in my heart so I kept them even though I don't need them. They are the very few books I have multiple copies of. I don't really have many multiple copies of books but those are one of the few that I do have. Next is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kirstoff. I'm not going to talk a lot about him but I did pre-order this as the UK signed edition. Um, I've not started this, I wonder why. It's freaking huge. But um, yeah, I want to finish Nevernight before I start this. And speaking of Nevernight, we have Dark Dawn. I believe this is the third book, yet yeah, the third book, in the trilogy. This is the only book I have not read in the trilogy, so of course, of course, I have to flip this one around. We have Obsidio and Illuminae. I do not have Gemini yet, but I hope I can get it soon. Um, but I have read these books and I really, really enjoyed them. I'm hoping to get my boyfriend to read them with the audiobook because the audiobook is amazing with the full cast. So, have read these at least. Okay, well, this shelf doesn't look that great. We have um, almost all of them are books that I have not read yet. Next, we have this shelf and I have my little stuffed animals I need to take off. Sorry. Fall of Giants, not read. Uh, huge, but um, I got this from my local thrift store. Prison Healer, I also haven't read this, and this was from a book box. Um, I don't really know what to say at this point. This room, for some reason, has even more books that I need to read. I don't know how this is possible. David Copperfield, I got this because it matched my Jane Eyre copy, and this was also, also from a thrift store. I don't know if I'll actually read this. I'm not going to flip it. I only got it because it matched the other one. Um, it was on a whim. It was like $2. My thrift store used to have hardcovers, used to be two to four dollars. They changed it since COVID, but oh well. We have Long Way Down. This is the graphic novel of A Long Way Down, and I have indeed read this. We have Sorcery of Thorns. This is the Elk Crate edition, and I have read this, thankfully. This is a pretty good book. I didn't love it, though. It's a standalone fantasy. Didn't absolutely love it, but it was good enough that I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just kept it, and it's also just gorgeous, so... Why not? These are books I have painted myself. And Amanda Foodie actually had it on her Instagram and she put it in her story and it was so sweet. This is Ace of Shades, King of Fools, and Queen of Volt. I have not read these, but I have read the first book. I really, really, really liked it. There is a bi love interest. I think the male love interest is bi, I think. So yeah, I made this one hearts. I messed up a little bit on this one, unfortunately, but the other ones are perfect. So this is another one's heart. This one, of course, is clubs. And this one is diamonds. I'm going to just flip them all just because it matches. I kind of like the end pages. So I'm just going to keep them facing out. Because it just looks better like that anyway. We have Crown of Feathers. This is the Owl Cray edition. I also haven't read this, but I really, really, really want to get to this series so bad. I've had someone tell me on Instagram to get to it. And that was like six months ago. I'm so sorry. I really want to. I have way too many books. I have so many backlist books, so that makes it really hard for me to get to series because I'm just, 
I'm trying to catch up to all the series I missed out when I was growing up. Black Sun, I think this is a sci-fi. If not, it is a fantasy series. I'm pretty sure it's a sci-fi. And this was um, on Book Outlet. I got it for pretty cheap. The series isn't finished, so I'm definitely not going to get to it anytime soon, but I'm happy that I have it. So that when I do get to it, I can get to it. This is one of the oldest books I have on my entire TBR. Oh my gosh. I've had this since I was literally a teenager, I think. Oh my gosh. I remember reading the first book when I was a teenager and I never got to the rest of the books. I also painted the edge of these ones, so I will turn them all around anyway because I like the edges of them. So I will show you what they look like. So this is Shiver and this is the edges of this one. This is the third book and I kind of messed up on it, but it's okay. I do what I can. Another really cool thing about these books, kind of weird, is that the font is the same color as the cover of the book. And then we have Linger, which is the second book. The Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. I have not read this. I got it because I loved Heart of Iron, so I decided to get this. I'm just going to say this now. This I have not read. I This is... Oh boy. This is Witches Steeped in Gold. This is the... I think this is a fairy loot edition that looks like a tome. It looks gorgeous. This is the lowest rated book I have on my whole TBR, so um, I've just been really hesitant to read it. But it is gorgeous, so I don't mind keeping it because it's just so pretty. And we have My Plain Jane by three different authors. I will have them right here. I have read this book and I have actually read the other two books that kind of go with it. So on this shelf we have two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 on this one. I will count these books even though I have read the first one because I really want to reread them. I'm skipping to the bottom shelf because this one is the most boring and I don't think anyone cares. These are just random books. I'm not going to count any of these right now. These are video game artwork. Uh, I have the most random things here. <laughs> this Akatar book is from the one that my boyfriend ripped up for my Valentine's Day gift. We have like baby sign language. We have like a driver's manual. This is just a random pile essentially. We also have these which are my photography book. We have these books, which are really actually pretty cool, it goes through the different parts of mythology with uh, Egyptian, Greek. We have a bunch of different mythologies and it talks about it and I love mythology. My boyfriend got this for me, so I want to continue reading this. We have Pride and Prejudice and this is a book with recipes inside it. And we have some of my most prized possessions. These books were given to me by my mom and sister, I think like a Christmas or two ago. Um, and these are, if you recognize these books, then you're pretty awesome. <laughs> this is from It's Okay to Not Be Okay, which is a K-drama. They are all signed and they're all in Korean. I can read Korean. I've been learning Korean, but I do not know what it means half the time. I do know this is Zombie Kid because I've watched the show enough. And also I do uh, know this is zombie and this means a kid or child so uh, I can read it I just don't know what it means so I will do translations and input them into the book but these mean a lot to me even though no one on booktube probably knows what the heck it is my boyfriend got this it is Neil Gaiman uh I have no interest in it but you know that's my boyfriend's book so I'm just gonna leave it there we have the blade itself by Joe Abercrombie and we have <laughs> the heroes we also have the last argument and we have Red Country. Oh wait, and we also have The Little Hatred. I have not read any of these books. These are all from my local bookstore. The only one that isn't from local is this. I paid like $20. Everything else was like $8 or, or under. So these were from my local bookstore, all of these. I'm so excited I actually found Juhamber Copy books. Like, awesome. I'm trying to get into his books because I'm going into adult fantasy. So I have not read any of these books right here at all. I'm hoping to get into Joe Abercrombie and Robin Hobb very soon. We also have Dragon Slayer by Duncan M. Hamilton. This was kind of like a cover buy. I just love dragons. Okay, Stephen King. I haven't read any of these. I'm not going to turn them all around because I just don't want to do that. I'm getting into Stephen King's books. I'm reading them chronologically. I've read a lot of his beginning books, I've read his biggest books. So I've read It and I've read The Stand. So yes, I am not flipping these over. These are the only books I own of his. My sister owns a lot more. So I will leave these ones alone for now. So on this shelf, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and technically all of these. So that would be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Lovely. So this is the shelf in our bedroom. I feel like there's a lot more in here that haven't been read. I think a lot of these books are ones that 
I don't really, I haven't really read, so I don't really have them on main display like my other one. So yeah, this is my only other bookshelf I own, and that's that. Alright, though, so that is my bookshelf tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was entertaining enough and I didn't ramble too much. Doubtful of that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all as usual, and I hope you have a great day. Happy reading, and I hope to see you all soon.